I forgive you on behalf of Salahuddin and his mother. This is Trey Relford. He's pled guilty to the 2015 murder and theft of Salahuddin Jimout, a 22-year-old who'd been delivering pizzas. Salahuddin was making his final delivery of the night when Relford and two accomplices lured him into their apartment complex, robbed him, and stabbed him to death. The following is a courtroom testimony video of Salahuddin's father, Samat Jidmoud, who is a principal at an Islamic school. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Samat Jidmoud decided to speak directly to his son's killer. Trey Alexander Relford, I feel so, so sad for you that uh, you have to be in this situation. I wish I could help you as I help my son to be a good citizen. If Salahuddin were to be here, if he alive, he will forgive you. That's the way he was, that's the way he is. I'm not angry at you for being part of hurting my son. I'm angry at the devil. I blame the devil who misguiding you and misleading you to do such a horrible crime. No, I don't blame you. I'm not angry at you at all. I want you to know that. I forgive you on behalf of Salahuddin and his mother. Before Judge Kimberly Burnell delivered her sentence, there was still one person left to speak. Mr. Wilford, do you wish to make a statement? Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about what happened today. But I do applaud you because it takes a powerful man to know that somebody has hurt them and do what you get up there and say what you just said. I have a child. She's four. I can imagine the hurt, the pain. The vision hurt. This doesn't make you. But I thank you for your forgiveness. And now, it's time for the judge to announce her sentence. Mr. Alford, an incredibly horrible event happened that has changed the lives of two families forever. Nothing can fix it. I am going to accept the Commonwealth's recommendation. Murder, 25 years. And I truly wish for you the very best. Thank you. Samat Jitmout was interviewed after the sentencing. This is what he had to say. If I as a father fail to forgive a person, Islam teaches that God will not be able to forgive that person because he owed to me and Salahuddin and his family. Now Salahuddin family open heartedly forgive him. Now the day, the, op the door opportunity for God to forgive him is open. It's up to God because God said in the Holy Quran, Wallahu ghafoor rahim Allah Almighty God is the most forgiving and the most merciful. Now I I said, my nephew, God gonna forgive you because he promised in this word, he's the most forgiving, the most merciful, provided I forgive you first. So I did forgive you. So now God turned to forgive you. So reach out to him. I want him to reach out to God. You have a new chapter of good life coming. When you come out from your confinement, do righteous deed because your righteous deed gonna lead to the path of truth, lead them to God Almighty that will rejoin, uh, reunite you and Slavodi in paradise.